Hi Oxy, can you please make a video on how to make a cappuccino? Oh yeah, definitely. So who's ready to have a cappuccino? Because I'm ready. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. We're about to go make a cappuccino. It's basically equal parts of espresso, milk, and foam. So we need to make sure we have the perfect amount of milk in the pitcher so that we can create a lot of foam. Wish me luck. So I'll be using my Breville Barista Pro Espresso Machine, of course. I love this one because I've used it for like several years and I just love this coffee machine. If you care to invest into something like this, I'll leave a link down below. So first things first, coffee in here. You'll definitely want to make sure that you're dialing in your espresso correctly, which more on that in my other video. So click up here if you're interested. You don't want to put a ton of milk because after you steam it, it's going to rise a little bit and you don't want to go overflowing the pitcher. So we're going to put about six ounces. The goal here is to get as much foam as we can. And I'm using a glass cup so that you could see the different layers. So when you start steaming your milk, you're going to want to make sure that the wand is placed at the very top layer of the milk. You're going to lower it slowly and keep it at an angle so that way the milk is going in a circular motion. That's what's creating that beautiful microfoam and creating that silky smooth texture to the milk that's gonna be beautifully added to your espresso. Just in case there's any extra air in the bubbles inside of the foam, when I tap it, uh, the air bubbles kind of pop and that way the milk texture is very, very creamy and smooth. If you wanna do two shots, you can. I'm gonna do single shot because I already had coffee today. All right, so now that we have our espresso, we're gonna add milk to it. And as you can see, it is only one shot. If it was two shots, there would be more espresso, which would mean more milk. So with this amount of espresso, you're gonna just want a little bit more milk and the rest with foam. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think I got enough foam in here. It might be the milk that I'm using. If you use whole milk, you'll get a lot more foam. I use oat milk and that's why I don't have the most amount of foam. Technically for a cappuccino, that's about how much milk I would need for the amount of espresso that I had. Now, you just put all of the foam that you can. I'm using a spoon because if I keep pouring, I'm just gonna end up pouring more and more milk. I think it's good. I give it a nine out of 10. The reason why is because I wish it, I could have made more foam. That's such a big part of a cappuccino is the foam part which I kind of failed at, but you get the idea. Hey, if you guys ever tried making a cappuccino at home, let me know in the comments, how did it work out? Was it a success or is it a complete fail? If this video was helpful for you, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, why are you not subscribed? Please subscribe. Thank you for being here. As you saw, I do read my comments, so I would love to hear from you guys. Any requests, recommendations, or questions, I will get back to you in the next coming videos. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you soon. God bless, bye-bye.